hello guys welcome back today we will see some part of data structure that is linear data structure and non-linear data structure and it is, it is important so let's start with that what is data structure a data structure is a technique of storing and organizing the data in a such a way that data can be utilized in an efficient manner a data structure is designed in a such a way that it can work with various algorithms data structure is classified classified into two categories linear data structure and non-linear data structure so what is linear data structure a linear data structure is a structure in which the elements are stored sequentially means it, it has a sequence of data and the elements are connected to the previous and the next element means the connection between the first previous element and next element is there as the elements are stored sequentially so they can be traversed or accessed in a single run the implementation of linear data structure is easier as the elements are sequentially organized in a memory the data elements in an array are traversed one after another can access only one element at a time so it is also important only one element at a time types of linear data structures are array queue stack linked list so we will see that array array consists of data elements of the same data type it is important for array that the data type should be same example if you want to store the roll numbers of 10 student so instead of creating 10 integer type variables we will create an array having size of 10 therefore we can say that we array save a lot of memory and reduce the length of the code okay. and stack it is also linear data structure use lifo so sometimes they ask this which on which rule data uh, stack is working the stack working in last in first count in which data added last will be removed first the addition of data element in a stack is known as push operation and the deletion is called pop operation so there is an operation push and pop next data structure is Q. It is used FIFO rule. First in, first out. Stack, LIFO, Q, FIFO rule. In this rule, the element which are added first will be removed first. There are two terms in a queue front end and rear. The insert operation performed at the back is known as in queue. And the deletion operation performed in the front is called DQ. So it is like that. This is a Q. So from back, the data is inserting, and from front, the data is deleting. Okay, and in a stack operation like that. So data come, it is called push, and data is removed called pop. Okay, link list. It is a collection of nodes that are made of two parts data element and reference to the ne next node in the sequence. So, linked list have a two two part. Okay, this part is data and this part is next node, next node address. Okay, so this kind of data structure that they those are linear one. okay and what is non-linear data structure a non-linear data structure in which the data elements are not arranged in a contiguous contiguous manner means they are not a continuous in a memory okay as the arrangement is non-sequential the data elements cannot be traversed or accessed in a single run that is also important so they are non sequential in case of linear data structure element is connected to 
to two elements previous or the next element whereas the in non linear data structure the element can be connected to two or more than two elements examples of non linear data structures are tree and graph okay so we will see tree it is a non linear data structure that consists of various linked nodes it has a hierarchical tree structure that forms a parent child relationship the important part is parent child relationship in that okay the diagrammatic representation is shown here it is a root so it is a parent node then child nodes are connected and parts of branches of uh, child node is called subtree and uh, the nodes which are at same level is called siblings okay so it is like that for example the post of employees are arranged in a tree structure like managers so if we say it is managers managers officers so it will be officers officers and these are clerks so others are clerks clerks okay so this kind of structure is called tree tree structure and it is a non linear data structure that is important okay so graph graph is a non linear data structure that is that has a finite number of vertices and edges and these edges are connected to the vertices the vertices are used to store the data elements while the edges represent the relationship between the world between the vertices graph is used in a various real world problems like telephone network telephone network circuit network social networks like linkedin facebook in case of facebook single user can be considered as a node and the connection with of a user with the other is known as edges so these called vertices these are vertices okay these are vertices and the relationship between them is called edge or edge okay okay next we will see the difference between them so linear and non linear data structure differences if we talk about basic the elements are arranged sequentially or linearly with another in this elements are arranged hierarchically or non linear manner arrays type are types types of linear data structure arrays linked list stack queue and non linear graph and tree implementation wise due to the non, due to the linear organization they are easy to implement and due to non linear organization they are difficult to implement if we talk about traversal linear data structure is a sing, uh, is a single level so it requires a single run to traverse each data so if we want to access a linear data structure in a single run we can access the data and in in non linear data structure it cannot access the single run it requires a multiple runs to be done and arrangement each in linear each data items attached to a previous and next item what we see previously and it is attached to the many other item data structure does not contain any hierarchical level so all the elements are organized at a same level and here the data elements are arranged in a multiple levels memory utilization memory utilization is not efficient here and in non linear data structure it is very much efficient if talk about time complexity the linear data structure increase with increase of input size so time complexity will increase if input size is more okay but in case of non linear data structure time complexity of non linear data structure often remains same with increase of input size so that is the advantage also of non linear data structure over a linear data structure in case of time complexity if we talk about application so they are using uh, in linear data structure in, in case of softwares why in non linear non linear data structure they are for image processing or 
AI, artificial intelligence. So these are the important things that is related to linear and non-linear data structure. Hope you get something from out of this and it will be helpful for your preparation. So thank you very much for this.